Welcome back. Time for this week's edition of The Lowdown. It is a live lowdown, which means anything can go wrong and probably will. <laughs> Robbie Muster, Robbie Earl, Tim Howard have got some questions for me about the weekend. They turn the tables and ask me for my answers. I've got 30 seconds, if you don't know how the lowdown goes, to answer them. But sometimes yeah, I go take over. Take a minute. Sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But Elster, go first, I think. First question is, we've had a great weekend here back in the UK. What's been the best performance you've seen this weekend? Um, oh, probably best performance, I mean, other than Manchester City, which is kind of like, yeah. yeah other than City, the best performance I've, we've probably seen, from my opinion, would be Aston Villa. I think Aston Villa against West Ham yesterday was just fantastic. They just seemed to carry on where they left off. And who doesn't love mm. the way Aston Villa play under Unai Emery? But there's a performance I've seen the highlights of about 10,000 times, which I wish I'd see more of, which was Brighton. Yeah. Because Brighton going up to Everton, sorry, Tim, we know Everton are going to have another difficult season. That's so impressive, number one. Yeah, but for manager. the first game under a new manager, and a manager who was nine years old when James Milner played his first <laughs> Premier League game. It's the, my favourite start of the Incredible. weekend. So I'm going to go Villa and Brighton sort of joint on that one. Next. Is it my question next? I've absolutely got no idea. Well, this is I, why I told you it's okay. live, could go wrong. Okay, so Tim's I'll next. My question. <laughs> okay, biggest disappointment of the weekend. That's a hard question because I, 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 I'm curious of your answer. It is a hard question. Yeah. Um... Well, no one's had a mare, have they? I don't think anyone's had a no, mare. No. I, I think I expected more of West Ham. Mm -hmm. I think having done, well, I did all the prep and I was listing all the listing all the signings, signings yeah. and I was saying, oh, I quite like him. I quite like him, and Full Crew could be good. Wan Bissaka, I mean, I Wan Bissaka didn't play, but I just thought they seem to have spent money in a with a plan. They, they did look like they had a plan, and I didn't see any of it. Yeah. I didn't see any of it against Aston Villa. Now, is that maybe because Aston Villa are already where West Ham? are trying to get to, and Unai Emery, as we talked about yesterday a million times, is so grooved with the way he does things. But I think Julian Lopetegui has a di quite a difficult job on his hands, because I think there's quite a lot of expectation based on the money spent at West Ham. So yeah, maybe I just expected more. Not disappointed, but expected more. Yeah. I've got the next question. Your turn. It's that time of year for predictions. I know. I mean, we always like the, the uh, Lady Low predictions, often some bold predictions. So let's <laughs> start at the bottom end of the table. Which three teams will be relegated? I don't think I'm going to be very bold. I don't think I'm going to be that bold. Oh, I know. No. Sorry, Come guys. On, I'm going to go Leicester City because I know that there is a possible charge, possible points deduction hanging over them. So I think that could be a problem. And which would, I, which would make me wonder maybe about Steve Cooper a little bit. I'm just not sure whether or not he is what we all thought he was when he brought Forrest up and when he was in the England setup where he was very highly thought of. And if it doesn't work and he goes down with Leicester having been fired at Forrest, well, I'm a bit worried about him. Um, Southampton. I don't think, I don't know, but I don't think A, they've bought well enough, and B, which is hard to do when you're coming up, yeah. and B, Russell Martin, just from the two or three interviews that I've listened to in the last few weeks, is incredibly dead set, a little bit like Vincent Company was, on, oh, well, we're not going to go down playing playing a different way, so we're going we're gonna to stay up, we're going to play my way, and that's the way Bold. we're going to play. That, that's concerning, so I'm going to go for them. And I think Nottingham Forest have circled, I'm actually going to keep your lot up, even though you're circling the drain massively, I think Forest are circling the drain. I also don't love their recruitment, so I and also, I just don't get inspired by Nuno. I'm sorry, Nuno. I just don't. You're like Ipswich. Ipswich are going to so be. Ipswich. I think Ipswich are going to be alright. I think okay. Ipswich are going to be okay. Ah, okay. Maybe by the skin of their teeth, but I'm going to yeah. go okay, Ipswich. So Forest, Athens, like and Leicester. Is so it? at this point, I want you to tell me what the top four teams are going to be in. In the order? Uh, no, probably not in order. Not in I bet order. I know just what give the me final the, the top four teams, okay. Sam. Okay. Just give me the top four teams <laughs> now. Um, <laughs> I mean, we've seen I one today. I think the surprise that isn't a surprise will be Aston Villa. Because I, I just I'm having seen you. them yesterday and I feel you. yeah, I, with, I, I, with the Champions League. Yeah, I know that is always big the caveat. Squad. It's the big caveat, squad. but yes. bigger squad, players that are brand new, but players that have been injured for a long time. Buendia mm. is back. Mings, Mings will, will be, be back. back. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to yeah. go. They're, they're they're in for me. Manchester City are obviously in for me. Arsenal are obviously in for me, and I'm going to go Liverpool. I think they're going to yeah. do better than everyone thinks. I actually think it, there will be a shade of a three horse race at some stage this season. Like it. Wow. Like it. Right, so you know the final question. Arsenal, Arsenal, City, who's going to be champion? Are you going to level it up or is it a landslide? I'm leveling it up. Oh. I've got, I know. I've drawn changed. with... Have you changed today? I've not changed today. Oh, no, change. no, today. no, no I absolutely did not change today. I feel like I've done Arsenal the last few seasons. They've disappointed me. <laughs> They've let me down. And also, it's an absolute nailed on banker. <laughs> and I'm fed up of being wrong. So I'm going for Manchester City to win the title. Also, like, like we were talking about, I mean, you know, I mean, Pretty where are they going to go good. wrong? No. That's the thing. Where are they going to go wrong? Although it was so interesting that Pep Guardiola came to speak to us and said that it feels different yeah. this season. He's a little bit more 
tired, he said, and he still gets butterflies, but it's just different because they've won everything already. So, so interesting. So they are the champions for me. We have a ton of Premier League content on our NBC Sports YouTube page. Lots of original series. This show, The Lowdown. The Two Robbies podcast, more on that in a tick. And Premier League update as well. Make sure you subscribe to the NBC Sports YouTube channel. That was the first edition of The Lowdown this new season. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.